Before we begin our verse-by-verse study of Luke 1, uh, 5 through 25, I wanted to just take one quick video to, to do an overview of the whole section, and so we can understand what it is that we are going to be looking at together. So we had left off in Luke after his prologue. He, Luke gave us the beginning of his, his intent for his gospel in Luke 1, verses 1 through 4. So the first four verses we already looked at, and so now if we go back to our, our kind of our, our table of contents for the harmony of the gospels, we are going to pick up in, the, in verse 5. And we're going to go all the way down to verse 25. And you can see that it kind of shifts down into from part one up there where it said a preview of who Jesus is. We looked at the prologues for the Gospels. We looked at the genealogies. And now we're going to really get into this part two, the early years of John the Baptist. And we're going to start by doing this section right there, which is verses uh, 5 through 25 of chapter one in Luke. So what we want to do, though, is before we start reading the text, let's kind of talk about what it is that we're going to encounter in these verses. So we got three sections that this is going to be broken up into. The first one is an introduction, and that we're going to see in verses 5 through 7 of uh, Luke 1. The second part is an announcement. That is verses 8 through 17. And then the third part is the responses to the announcement, which is going to go from verse 18 to verse 25. So let's look at these uh, really briefly. So for this first one, for the introduction, which is verses 5 through 7, Luke begins his account here. Now, as prologue is done, and the very first thing he does is he introduces us to two people, Zacharias and his wife, Elizabeth. Now, you may notice that some versions actually call him Zechariah. So Zacharias, Zechariah, it's the same person. The Harmony uses the name Zechariah, so that's the one we're going to go with. But we are introduced to him and his wife, Elizabeth. These are two godly people, and they, they both have a priestly lineage. So these are very respected people within the Jewish community, but there's a problem. Elizabeth is barren. So this is the introduction we get in this first part, verses 5 through 7. In the second part of Luke uh, 5 through 25, which is verses 8 through 17, what we see is Zacharias, who is a priest. We see him serving in the temple in Jerusalem, and an angel visits him with some news. And the news that he gives him is that he tells him that he's going to have a son, and that this son is going to be extremely significant for the people of Israel. We, We know, of course, that this is the angel Gabriel, who meets with Zacharias in the temple. And we'll look at that as we continue on through these verses. So the third part is the responses, and the responses come in verses 18 through 25. So Zacharias, when he hears this news, he doubts Gabriel, and and in response to his unbelief, Gabriel actually takes away Zacharias' speech immediately, and he is mute until the child is born. And then Elizabeth also responds um, by, she hides herself away, but but also greatly rejoicing that her barrenness will no longer cause her shame. So that's a quick introduction to what we're going to study. And so in the following videos for this module, we're going we're to really take a deep dive into each one of these. The introduction, verses 5 through 7, the announcement of John the Baptist, which is in verses 8 through 17, and, and then number three, the responses in verses 18 through 25. So we are going to unpack all of this verse by verse in coming videos. But I wanted to just kind of continue in this overview tone with reading a couple quotes from the Four Portraits book from Mark Strauss. He says this, Luke's gospel begins with a formal prologue, which is verses one through four. We read those. Similar in style to Hellenistic writers of the first century. This paragraph contains some of the finest literary Greek in the New Testament. The author is obviously an educated and skilled writer. So that's the first prologue that we had looked at previously. As the reader moves from Luke's formal introduction to the birth narrative, the writing style changes dramatically. The language suddenly takes on an archaic sound reminiscent of the Septuagint, the Greek Old Testament. For the modern reader, it would be something like beginning a story with once upon a time or dropping into King James style of English. Judging from the author's literary skills, this stylistic change is intentional and it serves to transport the reader into the world of the Old Testament. Parallels and motifs from the Old Testament abound. The characters we encounter are models of Jewish piety, the faithful remnant of Israel awaiting their Messiah. Zechariah or Zacharias and Elizabeth are of priestly ancestry, righteous before God and faithful to his law. The central theme of the birth narrative is the arrival of God's salvation and the fulfillment of his promises to Israel. Related themes include Jesus as the Messiah from David's line, John the Baptist as an Elijah-like forerunner of the Messiah, 
the central role of the Holy Spirit in the age of salvation, the gospel as good news, especially for the lowly, poor, and oppressed, and salvation for the Gentiles as well as the Jews. These themes confirm that Luke's birth narrative is not intended merely to provide the curious reader with details about Jesus' birth, but it serves rather as an overture for the symphony that follows, setting the theological stage for the rest of the gospel and for Acts. So it's a long passage, but man, it really gives us a sense of what we are, what we're about to read. So when we study the birth of John the Baptist with these three coming sections, well, not the birth, the birth announcement, the introduction, the announcement, and, and the responses, we are, we are now beginning to, to set up the coming of the Messiah by talking about the forerunner who is John the Baptist. So in our next video, let's actually now go back into the sections we introduced in a more deeper way. And what we want to do is we want to look at the introduction uh, to Zacharias and Elizabeth in Luke 1, verses 5 through 7.